channel. If you are new here, then hi, welcome. My name is Nikita, and I post videos based on lifestyle, fashion, and motherhood. So, as you can tell by the title of today's video, I am bringing you my baby girl names that I love and I might actually be using. So, I'm pretty confident that in this list of names is the baby name that if I'm having a girl, I'm going to use for my second child. Now, at the end of the video, what I want you to do is go down into the comments and see if you can guess what I'm going to call my baby if it's a girl because we have actually agreed on two names. We've agreed on a boy name and a girl name. We actually find out the gender tomorrow. I'm going to vlog that. I'm going to do my first ever real like vlog and I'm going to take you to the hospital with me and we're going to do a whole gender reveal. So sit tight and tell me what you think I'm going to call my baby. So let's without any rambling because I feel like I've been rambling for ages now let's get on with the video and I'm going to tell you my baby names so these names are in no particular order they are just in I literally just wrote them down so it's not a list of my this the first one is my number one name I just put them in any order so that's not going to be a hint to what we're actually going to call baby if it's a girl so the first name on my list is Darcy. Now, not many people like the name Darcy and I've loved this name for so, so long. I first heard this name in What Women Want and, um, oh, what's her name? What is that woman's name with the blonde hair? Helen Hunt. Helen Hunt. So, Helen Hunt actually plays someone called Darcy. Darcy Maguire and yeah I love 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 that name she was such a fierce character for me and she's actually one of the main characters that inspired me to really want to push and be a boss mm. We're not going to say it because I don't want to don't want to cause any problems later down the line. But yeah, she her character really really inspired me to want to be really really great at my job and be really really high up and do really well for myself and be a strong independent woman. I thought she played that character really really well. I loved it. So yeah, I love the name Darcy. I think it's really independent. I think it's strong. I think it says a lot about a person. I think it, for me, if I see a little girl called Darcy, I expect her to have some sass, to just be really, really strong, independent, and know exactly what she wants out of life, and not ha not let anything stop her. I love the name Darcy. The next name on my list is Bonnet. Now, Bonnet, actually, um, I believe it in Scotland it means pretty or beautiful and I just love the name. I think it's so sweet, so cute and I think it can work really well for a baby. You can have a little baby bonnet and when they grow up I think it will make them, it they will come across as quite a soft person. Um, not soft as in a pushover, but I think it will help them come across as being quite a soft person and quite gentle and feminine. I just think it's a really, really beautiful name. And yeah, I just really like the name Bonnet. I think it's super cute. And I don't think it helps that over the last few weeks, I've actually been at home haven't been at work and I've spent a lot of time watching Vampire Diaries and obviously Bonnie Bennett is such a great character. I love her character. I think she's brilliant. She's so strong and sassy and people really underestimate Bonnie so I really really like that name. I love it. The next name on my list is Daisy. Now Ross absolutely hates the name Daisy but I think it is so sweet. I think it's so feminine. Obviously it's a flower. I think it fits really well with Millie. I think Millie and Daisy work really really well together. I think it's such a sweet name but that's probably not going to be one that we call our baby. Just a little tip there for you just because Ross absolutely hates it. I don't know why. He won't give me a reason. It's not a particularly common name but he just doesn't like it. So I don't know. 
I really don't know, but I love it. I think it's so pretty and sweet. The next name on my list is Made. Again, Mille and Made. I think they go really, really well together. I love names for children where they have the same initials. So, like, obviously, my name's Nikita and my brother's name is Nathan. And so we have those ends, and I really, really like that. I think that works really well for children, and they have their own identity, but I think it still works really well. I think it's really cute to have similar names and to have the same letter at the start of their name until they start getting post and miss M and then their surname. Then we might have some problems, but yeah. I really, really like the name Maddie. I think it's so, so cute. The next name is Harriet. Now, for me, I chose Harriet because my granddad's middle name is actually Harry, and I always liked the name Harry, and I thought I would really love to incorporate something from my grandparents into my children's names, and therefore, Harriet is obviously the feminine version of Harry, and I think that would be so adorable if I did. I feel like Harriet is a really, really strong, independent, yet feminine name. I think, the way that I think when I think about children's names is how is that name going to serve them as they grow up? I know from my own experience that having an unusual name doesn't always benefit you when you're applying for jobs um and the name nikita has never ever helped me get a job i found i have found it really difficult when i do cvs um which is why in the job that i work in now you actually put anonymous applications in um the uh the interview panel don't actually see your name until they meet you so that's great and yeah it's I always feel like a, a name can either make or break you for life and I feel like Harriet is a really strong, especially with, with my partner's surname, I think it'll work really, really well and they would be uh, Harriet such and such, absolute boss, killing it, loving life, stomping around in her Louboutins, just absolutely bossing life. I feel like that's a really, really great name. The next name on my list is Nancy. Now, I think Nancy is such a sweet name. I'm not sure how I feel it. I'm not sure how I feel about it for sort of like the middle age. So, baby, I love it. And I think Nancy as an old lady is super cute. Can you just imagine little old Nancy with a little dog and just walking around and just loving all the kids and just handing out like because my my granny always used to have sweets and she was like yes yeah, let's give some sweets out and i think that's what i envisaged with the name nancy but i'm not sure how it would stay i don't think i've actually ever met a grown-up nancy but yeah i think again it's a really good name next on my list is erin now i love the name erin i think it's a little bit unusual it's not something that you hear every day but it's not so unusual that people think oh what is that i've never heard that before because it is a good strong name i think it's really unique and individual everybody's going to remember them for being erin and ross's granddad is actually called eric so obviously i know that erica would be the female version of eric but erin is almost there tell me if you think that i'm talking absolute rubbish by the way but yeah i really really like the name erin i think it's super super cute and as i said with my grandparents i would really like to incorporate part of them into my children's names but i would also like to incorporate part of ross's family's names into our children's names as well next up is phoebe now I really, really like the name Phoebe and I feel like every single name so far, like Phoebe is number eight on my list and I feel like every name so far I've said, oh my god, I really, really like this name, it's a gorgeous name, it's a beautiful name, blah, blah, blah. But I think Phoebe is so, so sweet. I know that there was a little bit of a craze for people being called Phoebe. I don't know of any babies being called Phoebe at the minute. That might just be me. Um, let me know if you know of any any new Phoebes knocking around. Um, but yeah, I really, really like the name 
Phoebe. I think, again, it can be strong, it can be feminine, and it always reminds me of Phoebe from Friends, and Phoebe from Friends is absolutely hilarious. She is bonkers. She is mad as a box of frogs, but she's brilliant. I love her. I really, really love her. So I think that's a great, great name. Number nine on my list is Penny. Now, I love the name Penny, and I think that Millie and Penny really work well together. I think they would be so sweet together. Again, Penny isn't something that Ross is keen on, but I really, really like it. I know, obviously, there's a Penny in... Um, Big Bang Theory and Laura Cullen here on YouTube. She has a little girl called Penelope and she is absolutely adorable. And I think that's that's where I sort of got my inspiration from, from Laura's channel. If you haven't watched Laura's channel, I'll leave you a link below. Um, and yeah, I just thought it was such a cute name. But I feel like I need to keep, I couldn't call one baby Penelope and then have a Millie. I'd feel like I need it to be Penny. Again, tell me if I'm talking rubbish. I feel like I'm being really, really strange here with names, but it's my process, <laughs> I guess. And the last name on my list is Harper. Now, Harper is one of those names. It could be for a boy or a girl and... I just think, again, it's unique, it is strong, it is independent, it can be masculine, but it can be feminine, and it's just, it sort of feels like the best of everything. Does that make sense? Am I making sense? Am I talking absolute dribble? But yeah, I really, really like the name Harper for a girl. I think it's so sweet. Obviously, Victoria and David Beckham have their daughter called Harper, and it really, really suits her, and I feel like that could be a name that really suits our child as well but we shall see so guys that is the end of my top 10 baby girl names that I love that I might be using and as I said at the beginning of the video my actual baby girl name is in there so if you haven't already go down into the comments and tell me what you think I'm going to be calling my baby girl and if you have any other names to inspire me with then please let me know. If you haven't already please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me and follow my pregnancy journey. As I'm filming this as I've already said I'm actually going to find out the gender of my baby tomorrow so we'll be doing a gender reveal and then a little bit later down the line I will be doing my name reveal and telling you what we're going to be calling baby and so if you don't want to miss out on that make sure that you turn the notifications on as well when you subscribe because then you will find out as soon as everybody else does and as soon as I announce it what we are calling baby and what we are having so yeah that's going to be so exciting and until my next video I will see you soon bye I'm gonna